Now to a new subject, that of percent yield. When we run reactions in real life as chemists, we almost always make less product than we would calculatedly make. It's kind of frustrating, but true. So we accordingly report something called a percent yield to quickly communicate to others how efficient a particular reaction is. Here's how that works. To determine your percent yield, one, balance the chemical equation, two, convert everything to moles or millimoles, three, determine which reactant is your limiting reagent or reactant, as we just discussed. Four, calculate the amount of product that would be formed from your limiting reactant based on the equation stoichiometry. This amount is called the theoretical yield. I have to emphasize once again, once you've done step three and determined what your limiting reactant is, everything is calculated from your limiting reactant. Everything. Limiting reactant is the important guy. Step five is we then calculate our percent yield by using this equation. Percent yield equals actual divided by theoretical times 100. Where actual yield is the amount of product that you actually got, which is usually given to you in the particular problem. Let's take a look at one. Back to our example of bromobenzene and benzene. Question A, when 30 grams of benzene react with 65 grams of bromine, is that different? Yeah, it is, because in the previous example, I said you're reacting 30 grams of benzene with excess bromine. In this particular example, I'm not telling you who's in excess. You have to figure it out. What's the theoretical yield of bromobenzene? And part B, if the actual yield is 42.3 grams, what's the percent yield? We'll go ahead and tackle this together. Once again, the first thing we need to do is balance the chemical equation. Already done. Now we convert everything we're given into moles. I got 30 grams of benzene. How do I convert that into moles? I put grams of benzene in the denominator, moles of benzene in the numerator. And note, the formula weight of benzene is 78 grams per mole. Times that through 0.39 moles of benzene. Same thing for bromine, 65 grams of Br2. One mole of Br2 weighs 160 grams. Each bromine is around 80 grams. And there are two of them in each molecule. I times this through and I discover 65 grams of bromine is the same as 0.406 moles of bromine. Now I get to the next step. I have to determine which of these two guys will run out first based on their ratios. You'll note that benzene and bromine are present in a one-to-one -one ratio in this reaction, which means that if I had one mole of benzene, I need one mole of bromine and vice versa. In this particular case, I don't have one. I've got 0.39 moles of benzene and 0.406 moles of bromine. If I've got 0.39 moles of benzene, how many moles of bromine do I need? I need 0.39 moles of bromine. If I've got 0.406 moles of bromine, how many moles of benzene do I need? 0.406 moles of benzene. How many do I actually have? I've only got 0.39 moles of benzene. So who runs out first? The benzene does. Who's the limiting reactant? the benzene. Hence, all of my calculations are going to be done from the benzene, 0.39 moles of benzene. And the bromine is said to be added in excess. The question asks me the theoretical yield of bromobenzene. I've got 0.39 moles of benzene. I have to convert that into moles of bromobenzene. How do we do it? Same way we've done it before. Moles of benzene in the denominator, moles of bromobenzene in the numerator, and you'll note they're present in a one-to-one -one ratio stoichiometrically in this balanced chemical equation. Plug and chug, I discover I've got 0.39 moles of bromobenzene. So theoretically, if I took 0.39 moles of benzene and reacted it with this given amount of bromine, which is 0.406 moles of bromine, I should get 0.39 moles of bromobenzene. Now, to the final question. If the actual yield of bromobenzene is 42.3 grams, what's the percent yield? How do I determine that? Convert everything to moles. 42.3 grams of bromobenzene, using the formula weight of bromobenzene as being 157 grams per mole, is the same thing as 0.269 moles of bromobenzene. So once again, we calculated, in this particular circumstance, we should have gotten 0.39 moles of bromobenzene, but all we got was 0.269 moles of bromobenzene. What's my percent yield? Well, percent yield is actual divided by theoretical. In this particular case, I actually got 0.269 moles, and I should have theoretically gotten 0.39 if everything went perfect. I divide one by the other, times it by 100, and I get a 70% yield. Not a great yield, but not a bad yield either. Which brings us to another great lecture problem. 
I'm not going to do it, but I'll let you see if you can tackle it.